Oh. What up, y'all? I'm going to show y'all how to edit your snap code, man. Put your logo, whatever you want to put inside your snap code. This is going to be a GIMP tutorial. So you're going to need to download GIMP. It's a free image editing software. So go download that. There's plenty of videos on how to download that. So I'm not going to go into all that, but need GIMP to do this, but you don't need GIMP. If you got Photoshop, you can do it. But if you got Photoshop, you probably already know how to do this, but. I'll show you in GIMP. All right, let's get into this. All right, you want to type in snapchat.com. Boom. And go to Snapchat. See, here on the desktop version, there ain't much really going on, but you need to scroll to the bottom of the screen. And you're going to have under community right here, you're going to have snap codes. Click on that. It's going to bring you to a window that you sign in, it's going to give you information, but it would bring you to this page right here that I'm on. And this is going to be your snap code right here. This little picture. How Whatever makes snap codes different is just the little black dots. If you look at them, you can tell they're all different. So you can actually, the ghost don't matter. You can just kill the ghost. We're going to put something in there, man. So what you want to do, you want to right click this image right here. And you want to save this image. Let's see here. I'm going to save it as snap codes, tuts, snap code, tuts, save it to wherever you need to save it to, man. Go save. All right. Let's get out of here. You want to load up GIMP. All right. Now we got GIMP loaded up. We're going to open up that snap code we just downloaded. So go up here to your file and go to open. It's going to bring up this box right here. And you're going to find where your snap code was saved to. Snap code to it. All right. I found my snap code. So find your snap code, click on it, click open. And boom, we're going to have this right here. You're going to have a toolbar right here. So you're going to need this open. To get this toolbar open, you need to go up here. If it's not already open and hit toolbar. And you got different windows. Make sure you have your layers window open too. This window right here, I'm going to be using this a lot too. Let me move this out of the way. You want to go up here to your toolbar. And this is going to be select by color. This little option right here. You're going to click on the white. Boom, it's going to select all the white right there. And what you want to do, you want to come up here to select and grow. Scroll by three. And what that did, let me zoom in. Your zoom in is going to be up here on your view. Let me zoom in and show you. What that did was grow so we can get into the black so there don't want to be no white left. All right, going to zoom back out. And what you want to do, you can get to these options up here on the top of the screen. we got limited screen space here, so I'm just doing right click. So just right click it, right click the picture right here, and go to edit, and go to clear. That's going to clear all the white out of there. So we got that done right there, man. It was easy as that. Zoom in. All right. Looks like we got all of it. Zoom out. All right, now what you want to do, you want to right click it and go to select none. It's going to get rid of that. All right, now you want to find what picture you want to put inside of here, whatever picture you want, man. So right click. This is going to be the same options that are going to be up at the top. I'm showing you from here. Just right click and go to open as layers. It's going to bring up this box right here and find whatever picture that you want to put inside your snap code. Let me look around here. All right, I'm going to use this picture right here. This little pic of me. This little cool pic. You want to find a picture that's at least the same size as the ghost or bigger because once you start scaling, you don't want to start scaling up or your picture's going to be all pixified and it's going to look blurry messed up so you want something that's about the same size or bigger so let's go to open boom and say it's going to be so big but i'm going to show you how to scale it down what you want to do after you got your picture open is come up to your layers box right click on it and go to add alpha channel and now what you want to do right click and go to view we'll jump right here and go down to show grid 
It's going to show the lines. And I'll show you why. Go back to view and go to snap to grid. So when we start scaling, it's going to snap to it. It's going to be easier to scale it. All right, back over here in our toolbox menu, we're going to go to the move. This little jump right here, we're going to move this picture out of the way because it's easier to see when we're scaling. So take your picture. It's good when you're trying to work on a picture, click on that picture. So it won't move the other one. And let's just move this picture over out of the way. Almost off the screen where it's out of the way of the ghost. And I'll show you why we're doing that. All right, now let's go to the scale tool. It's right here. Double click this and a box will come up and this will be your scale tool. And this right here, you want to change this so you can see better when you're scaling. I'll show you. Turn that to about whatever, you know, looks right to you when you start scaling it. To scale something, you just click on the image. So let's go back to our layers box, click on that and click on the image that's off screen. And you're probably got to zoom out. So go to your view and zoom out. So you can see the middle part right here of your picture. That's what you're gonna grab with. And see what I was talking about? So you can see what you're working with right here. You gotta change your op, man, your op. Put that on about 50. All right. Now, since we have it on snap to grid, and you see the grid, these little boxes right here on the top and bottom and the sides are what you're going to move to scale your picture. You can kind of move this to the middle, whatever picture you have, and then scale it, and it'll pop. Boom. It'll snap to your grid. Just snap it. Oh, we ain't trying to get anything perfect right now. We're just trying to get it close to the size of the picture so we can scale it some more. We're going to scale it a few times, probably. And you're going to have this box right here. And go ahead, once you got it popped to the grid, go ahead and scale it. All right. You want to keep doing the same thing until you get it scaled down. Let me zoom out. Best thing to do is go up here to your toolbox and move it. Move it out the way again. Because it gets in the way. If you have that original picture in the way, you ain't going to be able to see what you're doing when you're scaling. So hit the scale tool again. Oh, click on the picture. Drag it back over. Let's move this box over here. And zoom in. What you want to do, man, you want to start scaling your stuff in. And with your scale, look, you can change... So you can see it a little better. But whatever you want to put in the middle, you want to get it lined up with the ghost. It might take you a little bit of time, a little trial and error, a lot of scaling, but it can be done, man. It can be done. Well, there's a wheel, there's a way. Let me do it real quick. Boom. So pull it in. You see how it's lining up with the ghost, kind of? Boom. I'm going to hit scale again. So you probably got to scale a few times. I just zoom back in. And what you can do to see how your picture is going to look behind your ghost, go to your layers box right here and click on this picture, whichever one you want to move, and go to these green arrows and move that picture up under there like that. You see? You That's how you move your layers. But when you want to move a picture or something, you might want to move your layer up because once you go over here to move tool, it's going to move the top layer usually. Make sure you click down to one. So then pop up to that. Let's move this off screen. Go to the scale tool. The scale tool. Double click that. Click your picture that's off screen. And grab this little circle in the middle. And just keep scaling whatever picture you have until you like it. Man. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with perspective view and like different filters and everything, but I'm just showing you how to get your picture in here and get it out. You can experiment with all that stuff. Let's see here. I'll try to get my name in here. Let's 
All right, that's looking about right. So I'm going to leave it right there. Let me scale. All right, let's go back over here to our layers box. Let's move this down and see what's going on. See, it's about right how I about want it. You know, I'm going to have to fill in some parts down here, and I'll show you how to fill in some stuff, man. All right, right-click and hit View and turn off Show Grid so you can see what it's looking like here. And there's another cool tool. If you want to use alignment tool, hit this tool right here, double click this, this box will come up right here. Usually you got to be able to click on your picture to align it. So go back to your layers box, move that up, and I'm going to click on this. Pick and hit this right here, and align it to the center or to the side, or whatever you want to do, but that's the center right there. All right, let's go back down here, move my layer back down. And what am I going to do is take the color that's in here and add that color to here, to these empty spaces. So your color is going to be different than mine. But to get your color, let's zoom in. Hit your view, zoom in. You can see right here, mine's going to be mostly black. What you want to do, you want to double click this right here. It's going to bring up your colors. You're going to double click your little color thing right here. And you're going to hit your eyedropper. Just right here, whatever you click on, it's going to copy that color. So I want this color black right here. And then it's going to come up here, and you push this arrow right here, and it's going to add the current color, and it's going to be your newest color. And push OK. Now that color is selected. OK. This is all the stuff when you right-click. It's going to be all these menus up here I've been showing you. You might want to save this for like a template, man, because you might want to make some different ones, you know. Switch it up on them, man. Eh? So you go to save a copy so it won't save over your regular image. And just we're going to name this whatever. Snap code. Touch. Just name it, then save it. Boom. It's saved. What you need to do is flatten your layer down. Go to your layers box. Click on the ghost icon. Right click it and go to merge down. That's going to make it all one layer. And now we're going to fill in these empty spaces. See, like over here, you want to go to this little tool right here, the fuzzy select tool. So double click this tool. And you want to just click the space, like right here. You see that selected? So I need to grow that. What you want to do, you want to right click or go to your options at the top. Go to select, then grow. So I'm bring up this box right here and I'm going to grow it by one. And now what you want to do, you want to right click or go up to your top, hit edit and fill with foreground color. That's the color that we selected with the eyedropper. Boom. You fill it in, then right click, hit select none and you can see that's filled in with the color that we selected with the eyedropper so boom that part's ready to go and you just repeat that until you get everything filled in it ain't gonna be that easy right here but what you can do man if you got something like this right here you got different colors your stuff just ain't fitting you can use your circle tool double click this and then take the piece you want like i want this right here then right click go to copy under edit then right click again, go to edit and paste as new layer. And it's stupid, I always paste it at the top. So go ahead and zoom out. And I'll zoom back in. All right, your layer's way up here now. So what you want to do, you want to select none. So right click and hit select none. Go to your move tool, grab that layer, bring it down. Your picture might fit automatically, you know what I'm saying? It might not be as much work as this. But you can take this layer right here and scale it. Hit the scale tool. You might want to turn back up your op so you can see. Zoom in. Scale it. Move. And then go to your layers. And this is a cool feature right here. Hit these up here, and you can like lighten it up, fade into your different picture. You can try out these different little modes up here. It'll do different stuff. 
we could see if something will kind of match in. I was going to kind of add something to the picture that went already there. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer. And you can just merge these down. Anyways, you want to keep filling up your empty spaces. Like, let's hit this right here and go ahead, hit the fuzzy tool, click in there. You're going to right click and hit select, grow. We're going to grow by one. Yeah. And then you're going to right click, edit, fill with foreground. There you go, right there. You got to tweak your colors if it's off. So let's right click, go to select none. Now, if I really wanted to, hit smudge tool. I mean, you can really blend in your stuff. It don't take that much, really, man, to make stuff look right. It's going to be sped up during the video, but I'm going to show you. Nobody never know. Now let's zoom back out. We got one little spot back up here, but it's just a black spot. So let's zoom back in. Move over and down. You got to do the same thing. Click on your fuzzy tool. Click on that. Right click. Go to select and grow. We're going to grow by one. Boom. Then we're going to hit right click. Fill the foreground color. It's going to be the same color we had selected. So you see that? Smashing in. Now we're going to hit right click, select none. See? Boom. It matched. And I'm going to zoom out. And there you go, man. Your stuff is inside of your ghost now, man. Now to export it, you want to go to your file menu right here and go to export as. It's going to bring up this box right here. You want to name it and find wherever on your computer you want to save it. We're going to put the name right here to its whatever and you want to go down here to select the format do you want to name it in so you just hit this little plus right here you go down we're going to save uh two versions a jpeg click that right there your jpeg file and let's go to export it's going to bring up a box let's go to default so it'll be all right go to export um we exported it once. Go back and do the same thing. The file. Export as. And you don't have to change the name. So it's going to be a different file format. So it's not going to save over the same one. But you can change the name. Just whatever you want to do. But we're going to save it as ping file. You can save it all these different formats. But you know the most commonly used is the JPEG and ping. So boom. Hit the ping file right here. You want to put another name, you can name it and then hit export. It's going to bring up this box right here. Leave it as is that you see on my screen. Export it. All right, now let's go find that file. And boom, find your file on your computer. And here's our finished product, man. There you go. You're ready to upload it to Facebook or Twitter, and anybody can scan that, man, and follow you on Snapchat. If I skipped or missed anything, y'all let me know. And uh, subscribe or like this, man, if you got anything out of it, and I'll hit you up later, man. Later. Oh.